wins the round. Ha! So what's that talent or skill? The answer is probably both, and a bit of luck. Hi to all, my name is Zai, played Quake for over 17 years, and I've refined many skills over that time. But what is skill? And how much of what we do is talent? When we see a child doing something for the first time, we don't say, wow, they're so skillful. We say, wow, they're so talented. A quick Google of the definition says that talent is a natural aptitude or skill. So that means they're pretty much born with it. So which came first, the talent or the skill? In your life, the talent, but in reality, the skill. The reason for this is that in order to get abilities we have now, previous generations had to develop and alter themselves. That's right, your great grandmothers and fathers and theirs and theirs and so on. Everyone in your family history, basically. We're not sure how much gets passed on through the genes, but clearly some people have genes that make them taller, giving them various advantages and disadvantages. The same is going to be true for eyesight, hearing, pattern recognition, emotional responses, and who knows, maybe even certain abilities like having a brain ready for learning how to play an instrument. So if your family have been playing the piano since it first came out, maybe you'll be able to pick it up easier than someone else. This is where the science gets a bit loose, so more research will have to be done, but if you bear with me so I can explain what I think, let's just pretend it's true for now. So if our ancestors were constantly using their hands for precise work from an early age, perhaps making watches, would our hands become extremely steady and precise? If they were always watching very fast birds fly past, or looking for small movements from very far away while hunting, would our eyes become better at long distance? If they constantly analysed and solved problems quickly, would we be naturally wired to do the same? And if a family did this over and over for the generations as I mentioned, would this and other things combined actually create the foundation for the ultimate first person shooter player? Notice I didn't say create the ultimate first person shooter player, I said create the foundation for. You see, talent doesn't mean you're born with the skill to do something. It just gives you the capability to learn how to do it. Think of it like a head start. There's a race and your ancestors gave you a 10 second head start, so you can finish faster. Very nice of them. Your skill is what you've done yourself in this lifetime. That means the harder you work at it, the better you'll get. So what does that mean? Is it going to be too hard to challenge the people who are more talented and work just as much as you on their skill? Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. And refer back to my first how to get good video, the winning mindset. No matter what the odds are, no matter how hard it is, find a way. Don't waste time on distractions or excuses, just find a way. Learn, grow, achieve. Never stop developing the talents that you have and refining the skills you acquire. You're extremely talented and highly skilled already. Just maybe not compared to other people, but so what? That's like a player in the NBA complaining they're not good at basketball. Would you take that person seriously? Of course not. To even get into the NBA is amazing. And the same is true for you. If everyone on the planet disappeared, you would be the smartest thing alive because you belong to Team Human. It's just in our nature to compete with one another and then judge ourselves on our performance. We won the race and now we just race against each other. And it's good, it keeps us motivated, but let's not go nuts. There's no use condemning yourself and thinking you're a waste of space just because you can't compete with other people. That's just competing with the best. Just be happy you're able to compete with the best, or at least have a chance of doing it. I'm telling you now, failing to win against other people doesn't make you a failure. Failing to get food and water that makes you a failure, because you're going to die. And the only time you fail is when you stop trying. The rest, just look at it as fun. Don't take it too seriously. You're already doing great. So again, keep on refining those talents and acquiring new skills. Just never stop trying. Keep playing the games you're playing. Keep doing all the things you're doing. And maybe even do them more. Because who knows, maybe the next generation is going to benefit from your hard work now. Well, a bit of that was scientific, the rest was unproven random thoughts, but I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and I'll catch you in the next.